Welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, I basically went over on things that you should implement into your video or live stream, whether it be audio, camera or lighting and how to make things better, as well as how to do it on a budget. Now I'm going to be going over OBS settings. So these settings are not necessarily the specific settings for you to focus on. Obviously, you can tweak it to your computer, your Wi-Fi. There's so many variables where you can alter the settings that I'm about to give you guys. So let's head on over to OBS. So now that we're in OBS, you're going to see it's a little different than what you're probably used to. You're probably just used to seeing only one screen, but now you're seeing my monitor on one side and my camera on the other. I'm about to show you guys how to set it up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up settings. Once you open up settings, you're going to want to go to video and you're going to copy this. This. You're going to copy the base resolution of 3840 by 1080p, and you're going to do the same thing for your output resolution. You're going to hit apply, and then you're going to want to come up here to output, come to recording, and you're going to do the same thing, rescale output to the same resolution that you had in your video. And then you're going to hit apply, and then you're going to hit OK. Now you're one step closer to setting up your scene. Now that you already designated which side is going to be your camera and which side is going to be your gaming or whatever you're going to be recording, now let's focus on audio. You're going to want to open up settings once again. You're going to go to audio, and then you're just going to select which one you're going to be wanting to record. Now, I have these set up for my gameplay audio or whatever audio I have selected to it. Then you're going to go to output, go to recording, and then you're going to select all of them. And here's why. Once you selected all six audio slots, you're going to hit apply and OK. You're going to click on the three dots and then you're going to go up to the advanced audio properties. So once you have the advanced audio properties, you're going to want to select the whole first row. So after you selected the first row of the audio tracks, it's telling OBS to capture all these audio tracks. So then you're going to just start select which audio track you want specifically for what. So I have my Rode pod mic as my main audio track. And the third row is going to be for my Scarlett focus, right? Fourth row is going to be for my music. The fifth row is for my MV seven X and that's it. Obviously you're going to do it adjusting to your own audio tracks. And then once you're done, you're just going to hit close. So I've actually had a problem with both the MV7X and the Rode Pod mic where it sounds like I'm recording in stereo, but it's not picking up the audio track as stereo. So you're just going to go back to your properties and then you're going to select your microphone and make sure it is recording in mono. And then that's it. So now that you click these specific settings on OBS, I'm about to show you guys in Premiere how to essentially make this into a video. So now that we're here in Premiere Pro, as you can see, you are now recording in different audio tracks. Obviously these empty ones are not there because I wasn't recording the music or whatnot. So what you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to hit shift and then just click on all the audio files that you don't need and you get rid of. And then there you go. So after you've done all that, you're going to click on the video track and then you're going to come over here to effects or wherever you have it in premiere and you're going to search up crop. You're going to click on it and then drag. I'm going to start off with the left and you're going to type in 50%. And then you're going to hit enter. So this one is now my webcam. So then you're going to drag and drop once again, the video file. This time you're not going to need all the audio files because you already have a designated audio file. So this is essentially going to be the, basically the gameplay or whatever you're going to be recording. Do the same thing. You're going to click on the video track, hit crop, and you're going to drag it. This time it's going to be on the right and you're going to hit 50% and hit enter. Now that's done. You're going to click on it and then you're going to move it. And then you're going to click on the webcam and you're going to do the same thing. Now that you've done that, you're going to come up here to the sequence, go to sequence settings. And then this time you're going to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080p. And then you're going to hit OK. Alrighty. So now you're going to click on the video and then you're going to drag it into frame. Once you've done that, you're going to do the same thing for the webcam. However, you're going to want to minimize it to however you want it. So you can bring it down to like, let's say right here. And there you go. So now let's hit play and let's see how it turns out. So here we are now on OBS. Now you're going to see that it looks a little different for you guys, right? You're going to you're see my camera. As you can see, you now have your webcam right there as well as your gameplay in the background, meaning let's say you want to do a zoom in effect, then you're going to want to click on the video. You're going to cut, cut. And let's say right here, I want to do a zoom effect, right? So then I'm going to come here, hit zoom. All right, so let's see how that looks. It's a little different than what you're probably used to. You're probably just used to seeing only one screen, but then now you're seeing my, as you can see, now you can do any edits that you want without losing the quality of both your video and your gameplay. 
So that is it for the tutorial. I hope I showed you guys something new with OBS to where you can separate your gameplay and your webcam at the same time, as well as your audio files. I know this is going to be a huge help for you guys, especially for those who don't have a mixer or anything of the sort to help you with the audio. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. It will really mean a lot to me. And if you have any more ideas on tutorials that you want to see in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Bye bye.